Hi, I'm Melissa Shannon from digitalscrapbookinghq.com and today I'm going to show you how you can stamp on your digital scrapbooking layouts using the brush tool. I'm going to be using a background paper by Flergs from Scrapbook Graphics and the 10 Reasons brushes from the Daily Digi. There's a link to these brushes in the notes for this video. Now the first thing I'm going to do before I start stamping my page is to create a new layer. So we go to the layer menu, new layer. Or you can just simply click on this new layer icon at the bottom of the layers panel. Next thing I'm going to do is load my brushes. I'm going to use the brush tool, shortcut B, and then I'm going to temporarily load the brushes into Photoshop Elements by clicking on the little double arrow and then load brushes. I've already unzipped my ABR file and I'm just going to open tddreasonsbrushes.abr and you can see it's now loaded up all my brushes. I'm going to choose this heart. Now at this point I can resize my brush making it larger using the closed square bracket or smaller using the open square bracket. Now when I'm ready to stamp I just click once and there I have a beautiful stamped impression on my scrapbook page. At this point I can click on the move tool and move my stamp to wherever I'd like it. If you decide that this stamp looks a bit harsh you can click on the layer and then dial back the opacity to make it blend in with your paper a little more. So there you have it, a quick and easy way to add stamps to your layout. Let's show you those, those steps just once more. Create a new layer, select your brush tool, select your brush, resize your brush until you're happy with it. Click once to stamp, use your move tool to move it wherever you'd like and then adjust the opacity or blend mode if you so desire. Would you like to see more Photoshop Elements video tutorials? Visit digitalscrapbookinghq.com for more tips, tutorials and free online workshops.